Hi friends, welcome to Azure content. This is part 19 in mapping data flow scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to validate the presence of a substring within a string using mapping data flow. So let's see our requirement in details. So as you can see in the image, we have to check if this particular substring is present as a part of this string. So since world is a part of hello world, so it should return the result as true. Okay. And similarly, since Anu is not a part of hello world, so it should return the result as false. Okay, so this is the requirement we have to achieve using mapping data flow. So let me go to ADF pipeline and let me uh, create the uh, pipeline practically. Okay, so before creating the data flow, I want to show if the requirement would have been in ADF, then what we would have done. Okay, so uh, first of all, let me create a pipeline and here, let me call set variable activity and let me create a new variable called var1. So let me create var1 and let me give the type as boolean because we have to check for true or false condition. Okay, so I'm keeping the type as boolean and here let me call the same uh, variable and in the value uh, I'm going to use a function called contains. Okay, so if I uh, read through the uh, information about contains here you can see contains function returns true if the dictionary contains a key list contains a value or string contains a substring okay so for all these scenarios we can use contains function in adf okay so if you can see the example here uh, in this particular string called a b a c a b a there is a substring called a c a so it will return true okay so this is the example so let me uh, use the same to check if inside hello world there is uh, a substring called world or not okay so let me click on okay and let me debug yeah so the pipeline is executed let me go to the output so you can see the output is coming as true okay so we can make use of this contains function similarly let me provide anu as the part of string to check if it is present in hello world or not it would re result as false so let's validate that as well yeah so execution is completed so you can see the value is coming as false so the same thing we are going to implement in data flow so let me create a new data flow i have turned this data flow debug option as on and here let me add a dummy source that would be pointing to a dummy file okay so there's a dummy file here uh, in csv format so let me create a data set uh, for the same okay so let me uh, point to ADLS Gen 2 and here let me select CSV format and let me select the link service and I'm going to browse to the location a new demo container so let me select that and here let me select dummy new file dot CSV and let me select first row as header and let me click on OK and now if I see the preview uh, data there would be a dummy column yeah, so you can see the data here. So don't worry about this data. We are not concerned about the data present in the source file. We are just going to uh, add a derived column transformation to check the presence of uh, substring in a string. Okay, so let me uh, update the same column. And here I'm going to write the expression uh, that would use contains function. Okay, so if I give the same uh, query here, that means if I want to look up for world inside hello world let's see if it works here or not okay so you can see it already gave an error here saying contains expects array type of argument okay so let me go back to expression builder and let me search for contains function here so if i hover on this you can see contains returns true if any element in provided array evaluates as true in the provided predicate okay contains expects a reference to one element in the predicate function as item okay so basically contains function inside data flow is an array function which checks the presence of an item of array inside the whole array okay so here in the example you can see inside the array one two three four if there is an element or an item equal that equals to three if it is present then it would return true if some element is not present then it would return false so basically inside data flow we cannot use contains to check 
or validate string data type we can only use it for checking the array type of data okay so if i give square brackets here it would treat this uh, value as array okay and now if i run it let me refresh it throws an error so it throws an error why because we have to give uh, the syntax as if if i show you again we have to give pound symbol and then item equals to and then we have to provide the substring or the string okay so here let me provide hash key and then item equals to equals to world okay let me save and finish and let me preview the data now yeah so you can see it returned false even if world is present inside hello world it is not giving true why because world is not a item of array here the whole uh, string is hello world so if we give hello world it will return true or else if we add another item here saying world then let me preview the data again then you can see it is returning true okay so now our challenge is how to validate uh, if world is present inside hello world or not okay so let me open the expression again and here we have a function something called instr okay that means in string okay so what this function does is it will return the index of a substring present inside the string okay if i uh, see the information here it says it finds the position of substring within string and it returns zero if the substring is not found and the index is based on one okay that means the first character would be assigned as index one not zero okay so you can see the example here mbo is present in dumbo or not so if it is present so that's why it is returning three as the uh, output because m comes in the third uh, index okay similarly inside microsoft o is present on the fifth index okay the first o is present on the fifth, fifth index and inside good uh, there is no uh, substring called bad so that's why it is returning zero okay so let me use this function called instr and here let me provide hello world and inside this substring let me give world okay so let me save and finish and let me preview the data yeah so you can see the output 7 is coming as the output because world starts on the seventh index okay so we are good but we have to uh, get the output in terms of boolean results that is true or false okay so since if this value is not present then it would return zero so we have to validate it using if condition so let me use iif here uh, if you want to use if condition you have to provide function as iif okay so i am just checking if this result zero equals to equals to zero that means that this is substring is not present inside the string so let me give false as the output value and if this is not zero it means that the substring is present then in that case we have to uh, we have to get true as the output okay so now let me save and finish and let me preview the data yeah so you can see uh, the output is coming as true because world is present inside hello world okay similarly if i check for anu here it should return false so let let's preview the data yeah so it's returning false and one thing important thing here is it is case sensitive if i give world in small cases and since here w is capital again it will return false even if the substring is present inside that string uh, if it is not matching the cases then it will return false so you can see it is returning false even if world is present inside hello world but the uh, issue is we have a case mismatch okay so let me go back to presentation so that's it for this video guys in this video we learned how we can validate the presence of uh, substring inside string with the help of in string function inside mapping data flow Please like and share this video if you find it helpful and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and please press the bell icon to get notification whenever I add videos. Thank you.